Thank you for clicking on our second movie review. Today we're doing Ghost in the Shell, and I'll be your host, Alejandro Velasquez. Actually, I'll be doing the movie review for Ghost in the Shell. So if you're an anime fan, you already know Ghost in the Shell from the manga, animated movie, and TV show. However, if you don't know anything about Ghost in the Shell and you're still kind of excited to see it, well, here's a little run through. So this movie takes place in a utopian future where scientific advancements have basically led to these human-cyborg robot hybrids. So in this movie, Scarlett Johansson plays Major, the main character, who is basically a cyborg with a human mind. Major was built through several scientific experiments to help fight off terrorists and criminals. Ultimately, her nearly indestructible shell cannot fight off the memories that haunt her. Then a similar government-made cyborg reveals to her that she wasn't the first experiment. This other experiment explains to her how her memories are being suppressed by the pills that are given to her by her mother. So following his advice, she comes to realize that her memories are real and that she was actually a human before. So I generally enjoyed the movie. I liked the CGI and the cinematography to portray a technologically advanced world where nearly everyone is a robot. So as someone who doesn't really know much about the history of Ghost in the Shell or what the plot is about really, I think that most people would find it kind of weird, kind of offsetting, but still pretty enjoyable to spend money on. So as a general moviegoer, I would say it's about a 6 out of 10. But if you do know more about Ghost in the Shell, you're probably skeptical as Scarlett Johansson playing a Japanese-based character. Especially if you've seen other movie adaptations such as Avatar, Dragon Ball, or Crossing Our Fingers for Death Note. It's understandable that we would have the same expectations for Ghost in the Shell. So any Ghost in the Shell fans may be a little bit disappointed. However, if you're a general moviegoer just going to see the film because it's a new film, you may be indifferent. So now to briefly talk about the whitewashing that sparked controversy. So as you should probably know, Ghost in the Shell takes place in Japan and has Japanese-based characters. So with Scarlett Johansson playing the lead role of a Japanese-based character, it obviously sparked some controversy in the United States. They were just happy that Hollywood gave it a big budget and gave the lead role to an A-list movie star. Not to mention that in the movie, her brain was actually taken from a Japanese girl and it was just put into a Caucasian woman's cyborg body. So is it really whitewashing? Um, yes and no. So I would understand how Hollywood filmmakers would want a big star like Scarlett Johansson to drive this film internationally and basically get a broader audience. I'm Vanessa with Stealth Flight Media. Click here to subscribe and here to watch more content. Oh. What happened? I at least watched the show.